Hello, CPS educators. We have been working all summer to design and get ready for the beginning of the year. We could not have done it without uh, collaborating with other educators, such as principals, teachers, our newly formed partnerships with the University of Cincinnati and Bowling Green State University's graduate programs. Our um, grad students have partnered and done such amazing um, support work for us. We believe that all children, regardless of circumstances, should receive high quality on grade level curriculum, instruction, and technology. And so it was important for us to clearly define what our call to action would be to get that vision um, visualized. Our call to action is broken into three components. The first component is to find new ways our students can see themselves and other cultures in their learning. The second is we must spend the vast amount of instructional time engaging our students in on-grade level work by prioritizing the mastery of critical work. The third is to address unfinished learning with precision, meaning just in time, in opposed to just in case. Like I said earlier, we've been designing tools and professional development to support you. The first is our accelerated learning model. The second is our distinguished educator program, which many have already leveled up to level one and two um, over the summer. And the third is our Schoology courses and templates. Thank you, Emily. Due to the pandemic, a light is shining brightly on the inequities within our system. Because of this, we all understand that learning loss is inevitable during this time. The new teacher project states that a recent study predicted that students will experience a learning loss of 30% in reading and 50% in math as a result of the crisis. Because of this, our students cannot afford for us to go back to business as usual. In order to address these inequities head on and ready our students for grade level learning, we will focus on accelerating learning rather than remediating. Remediating could actually create more inequities for our students and increase their likelihood of not mastering grade level content. The primary focus of remediation is mastering concepts of the past. Acceleration, on the other hand, strategically prepares students for success in the present this week on this content. Accelerating learning is about identifying the most critical prerequisite skills and content knowledge students will need to access grade level content. Take a look at this graphic from the book Learning in the Fast Lane. It compares acceleration and remediation. As you can see, acceleration increases student self-confidence and engagement. Skills are hand-picked just in time for new concepts and those skills are able to be applied immediately. And acceleration is active, fast-paced, and hands-on. Your curriculum and instruction team has put together a four-step cyclical plan to support accelerating student learning in our Accelerated Learning Guide. The steps include the following. Step one, setting the container or creating an environment that builds a community of equity and excellence. Step two, Identifying and planning to address unfinished teaching and unfinished learning. Step three, engaging students in grade level instruction regardless of circumstances. And step four, providing and collecting student feedback and monitoring student growth. These steps may not always happen in this order and it is absolutely a continuous process. Remember, 
Accelerating learning is addressing inequities head on. And it is about using just-in-time interventions, not just-in-case interventions, to advance student learning. Accelerating learning and strong instruction are interdependent, which leads us to number two, the CPS Distinguished Educator Program. Take it away, Rosemary. It's my pleasure, Lanisha. This program was designed in response to educators' express need for more support transitioning to a blended learning approach. There are four stages of expertise for teachers to level up their practices. By August 21st, all CPS educators will achieve level one to indicate what they can do. By October 16th, CPS educators will achieve level two and put key components of practice into action. Beginning with building relationships first, we focus on content, pedagogy, and technology to promote equitable instruction in a blended learning environment. Educators have already been in our Office of Curriculum and Instruction course in Schoology, accessing the program and achieving levels one and two way ahead of the published deadlines. This focus on relationships, content, pedagogy, and technology has led to an invaluable partnership with the University of Cincinnati and Bowling Green State University. Teachers will now have Schoology templates and model lessons to pull directly into their courses. Professor Sarah Schroeder and Allison Godey lead teams of undergrad and graduate students who, alongside CPS teachers, apply best practices in online course design. These templates and model lessons can be found in our Cincinnati Public Schools resources in Schoology. The work they've done, one, aligns to our CPS adopted curriculums, following our maps and guides and translates the adopted curriculum into model, model Schoology lessons. Two, lessons are built using Universal Design for Learning, or UDL, a research-based approach offering student supports, proactively addressing barriers to learning. Three, these demonstrate student-centered empathetic design principles. Four, the pre-K to 12 templates provide a consistent experience for students and families and support flexible blended learning. The benefits of our teachers using these units and templates is impactful. One, teachers save time not building online content from scratch. They can focus on instruction and building relationships and connections with their students and families. Two, these templates enhance learning in any context, face-to-face, part-time blended, or even in a fully remote environment. Three, the greatest benefit is that these empower our teachers to take ownership of their lessons. They are built with room to be personalized by teachers for the students in their classroom. The consistent UDL templates provide an opportunity for teachers to shine, make meaningful connections to their students' lives, and extend, enhance, or refine as needed. The CPS Distinguished Educator Program and the new Schoology templates provide the support for transitioning to blended learning that our educators need. Together, we will accelerate learning.